Hey guys, I want to show you a very cool trick. It's kind of a secret because Ableton doesn't normally make this option available to you, but it's a really huge option for anyone that is putting together their own kits and likes to assign, you know, macros. Typically what you have to do is assign macros for each and every sample. So you have up to 128 here in your drum racks instrument. Same thing with using the sampler instrument. So this is going to save a whole lot of time. Typically, what you may want to do, let's say you want to assign attack, decay, sustain, and release. Just for simplicity's sake, we'll just assign those. And once these are assigned, you actually have to go to every other sample separately in order to assign these macros. Well, now with this little trick, there's a little addition added to the menu. And that's map to all siblings, which takes care of all that. So you just simply go to each one of these, right click and map all. And now, as you can see, if I click on the other samples, you got the little green squares on top that show that they are indeed assigned. So now all of the samples are affected by attack, decay, sustain, and release, or any other parameter that you want to assign. So let me show you how I did this because this option over here, oops, sorry. Let me just assign one more thing just to so this option right here is normally not available at all. So here's how you set it up. What you need to do is you need to find your options.txt in Ableton. And I'll, I'll give the directions of how to find the folder for both PC and Mac, so don't sweat that. If you're on my blog, all the information's in there. If you're on YouTube, I'll have a link to the blog so that you can get all that information. If you don't find this, you're going to need to create your own text file, but you should find it inside your live folder, wherever that's located. In my case, it's located in my user folder, library, preferences, Ableton, and then inside the folder. You'll find it right at the end, typically. So once you find it, you want to add this in right here, which has a dash in front of it and enable map to siblings equals one and you want capital letters in the beginning of each word or I'll make this text file available to you if you need to get your own and, and drop it in there. If you're using a Mac using text edit can it can be kind of a pain in the ass to to create a text file. The trick is after you copy in what you want to you go to format and then you could say um, create plain text and then when you save it it will uh, create a text file for you. So yeah once you've dropped that in just go ahead and restart your Ableton and you will have that map to siblings option now and forever. So I hope this saves a ton of time for you for the projects that I'm working on for you guys. This is very cool. Hope you enjoyed this tip.